Hello everyone, my name is Jagger BR and welcome to Harry Potter Wizards United. Um, or Wizards Unite. So, I've been playing the game for about a week now. Wanted to do a short video about it. Um, if you've played Pokemon Go, you're probably, or there's another game Niantic made before Pokemon Go. If you've played either of those games, you'll probably be pretty familiar with a lot of how the game works. So, where to start? So, instead of catching Pokemon, you have these kind of, they're different house crests. And let me turn on the sound, since I have headphones in. Let's see. Click it. A wizard, confoundable, is guarding a remoral. Rem Not sure what this is. Gives you the threat level, and tells you shows you the line you have to trace to kind of cast it. And you'll see there's a bar at the top of the screen, so that'll go down based on the time, and then it'll rank you on the category on the quality of your spell casting that line you made, and between that and the time, it'll give you either a fair, a good, a great, or a masterful rating. Um, some of them was good, overpowered it. So I get a remember all. I already had it. So it gives me a plus one to my mysterious artifacts and some experience. So let's see. I want to show you the registry. So the registry is kind of like the main, I guess it'd be the Pokedex to the, um, for comparison. So like that, remember all was back in this mysterious artifacts. So I only need to get one of them to get its kind of sticker to register it. But like this um, decoy detonator, I need four of them. I've got, got three and I've seen six. Um, let's see, which one of these? I prestiged one of these, but now I can't remember which. Was it the students? No. No. One of these I got them all. I think it actually might have been this one, just because it says Room of Requirement 2. Nope, nope, that says Room of Requirement 4. Yeah, one of these, I completed them all, and then I Prestige basically just cleared the page, and each one has different groups of items to collect. Um, yeah, and then you'll see each one of them has their own rank, so you catch so many, you get points for it, you level up, you can open a chest, so I'm six experience away from that. Um, so it has a challenge rune stone and a profession scroll. I can't show you what the challenge rune stones do since I'm at my house, which luckily it spawns confoundables, but not, not the, it's like a raid type of thing. So potion crafting. Let's see. I don't have enough space for them. Let's see. So you gather different ingredients throughout the world. Also visiting popular locations. There's greenhouses in the game. So you can swipe there and get some free um, three or five items. Very similar to a Pokestop in Pokemon Go. There's also inns, which... Oh. Well, I guess... I don't want to go to port keys right now. Can exp it's going to tell me this for each one, isn't it? Okay. So the other similarity I noticed in Pokemon Go is to Pokemon Go is that so let's see, she's a medium difficulty. You see, I have eleven out of seventy-five energy, and the thing that's different about this game compared to most is that doesn't regenerate over time. This is equivalent to like my Pokeballs. 
So you have to go to physically go to an inn, an inn, and spin the stop, or I guess randomly choose a meal, and you'll get you can get three, five, ten. I feel like one of the times I got like forty, forty energy. So we'll cast that. It's yellow, so that means I didn't do that good, but hopefully it was good enough. Right. So well, so I didn't do it good enough. Oh, that was bad. Sometimes you'll get spell incomplete. It means you're missing a key spot on the wand casting. And you'll see I'm still using energy for all these bad attempts. Jeez. I swear I do get better temp better casting. Um, it's really precise and really not to say finicky, but like some of mine I'll be just off to the right of it for all of it. So it's considered bad, even though it's the same shape, it's just this slightly off to the side. Um, yeah, so here's one of those ingredients that I talked about. Let's see. What else is there to show you? The thing I really like is there's daily assignments. So Find 10 foundable bulls, dine at two inns, pick up an ingredient or a portmanteau, um, brew a potion, use a potion, walk a quarter kilometer. That's not very much. That's a little over an eighth of a mile. And complete a wizarding challenge, which are kind of like the raids. You'll go and do two battles back to back, at least for the lower levels. Um, let's see, there's nothing in special yet. Okay, there's an event coming soon, next week it looks like. And then achievements, just normal things. Cast 20 unique, distinct spells, cast 100 spells masterfully. See, I've got 38. Um, reach level 30, which I thought was a huge jump from level 10 to assume that the next big achievement is 30, but I don't know. Dine at 500, in, dine at ends 500 times, cast 2,000 spells successfully. There's 100 of those potions. Right. So SOS assignments, they're kind of the main point of the game. Uh, let's see. So like these are your main goals. So, like, there's a story to the game. You're, there's a wizard trying to expose wizardry and doing these things for helping track down this person. Oh, got another one to pop up. These guys trying to steal a giant's helm. Alright. You know, a lot of mediums tonight. Alright, let's see. I want to get at least one good cast. Oof, that was bad. My hand started to hit my desk at the end. I want to get one good cast in on this episode. All right, but at least that worked. All right. So I overpowered them. I get five to my rank. Ooh, and that was the fifth one of them. So let me show you. So it's flashing. Let me tap it. Now that helm's there, and I get a bonus for collecting all for actually placing it into the registry. Um, next thing, vault is just your inventory. It's nothing fancy. Potions, ingredients to make potions, uh, utilities, uh, silver keys. They're kind of like egg incubators. You need one of those to unlock one of those portmanteaus. Uh, which are unlocked through walking. Dark detectors are kind of like the incense. You put them up at a stop. They'll attract stronger confoundables. Rune stones are used to enter like the raid type challenges. The higher the number, the harder the raid would be. Better rewards. Season water. You can grow them at a greenhouse to get 
to get ingredients to make potions. All right. Now what I think as anyone who loves games where you have abilities and you can level them up. So you have professions. You can either be an or magi zoolo zoologist or professor. Um, so they have like their basic type advantages. Um, there's three different types in the game. So you'll be strong against one, weak against another for all of them. Let's see, the or extra damage against dark forces and take extra damage from beast. I don't think that there's much of a difference other than out here. Trained in the care and preservation of magical creatures in combat, focus on healing and helping their teammates. Alright, so there's the healer and helper. Defeat those by combining their innate leadership with a litany of de debilitating spells. Alright, there's your stronger people, your offense focus. Professors highly adept spellcasters who use their deep magical knowledge to debilitate foes while also supporting their teammates. I felt like this was a good, like, in the middle kind of one. Um, because it seems like pure support, pure offense, somewhere in the middle. You can change your profession in between, my, I mean, at any time. Like, yeah, so I can just come down here and hit switch. I don't think there's any penalty to switching, but for some, um, like raid type battling, you want people in each types, so you have the right advantages. So, but what's nice about this is, so I have these two scrolls and these four books up here. You can take, you can upgrade your abilities. So, so all kinds of skill trees going all the way down. So like that one lets me restore teammate's stamina by a small amount. Place an impairment on a foe that lowers their stamina every time they attack or defend. Yeah, so all these box ones are different. So there's impair foe stamina, increases how strong it is. So the squares go to those abilities. And all these circles are your, increase your chance of critical hits. Um, Increase the critical hit damage. Let's see, what's this one? Increase the sheer plane damage. Uh, so that, so the right side, what I really like is how it's split into a way that kind of makes sense. Your offense ones are all on the right side. So your crits, your, your both your base damage, the chance of getting a crit, and the actual crit damage are on the right. Well, with what's these? Power when you have one or greater enhancements. Oh, because those cost those green books. And so far, I haven't gotten any of them. So I'm thinking they're kind of a big deal. Because so, those four brown books are the only ones of them that I've gotten so far. Yeah, so the right side has your offensive, and your left side has... There's your defense, your stamina, basically your health. Uh, what's else is on this side? What's this one? Proficiency. Not sure what that is exactly. I think this page will tell me. Proficiency. No, it doesn't. But what's nice then is this page gives you a kind of a summary as to how many of these upgrades you've gotten. So like I've gotten a lot. I've gotten half of the precision. My precision's at 12%. So I have a 12% chance of landing a critical attack. Um, right now I'm just kind of filling in what I can from the top, mostly focusing on the offense side. Because I have 122 stamina, I believe. Yeah, I have 122 stamina. Some people... A lot of the ones that I fight are pretty weak, and they're only doing 6 or 10 damage. So they need 
12 to 20 hits to take me out, whereas I can take them out in like 5. Yeah, so mostly I don't really need that. It's more fun to hit them hard and take them out than try to than to do it efficiently and yeah, in just an all-around smarter way. All right, so we got some book here. And I was never a huge Harry Potter fan. Well, I was never an overboard fan. I've seen the movies. I've read a couple books. But that's about it. Um, so, like, some of these references I get. Some of them I don't. Let's see. That's not the page I want. It's like, if we go back to the registry... Um, Like, I recognize August Filch. Can't think from what. Let's get a better. Let's see. Just a generic wanted poster. Uh, obviously, Hagrid. First person you save in the game. I'm trying to think where like who's some of the ones I see? Oh, like Moaning Myrtle from the Chambers of Secret. Recognize that. Peeves is a ghost of some kind. The Pomona Sprout, she was the. She worked in like the greenhouse nursery. This probably actually says horology. You know. Like some of these people and things, I, under, I get the references. The goblins that have all the money. All the, the ones from. Footage, you know, the different balls, like the Golden Snitch, pretty, probably, I would imagine the most popular of all of them, but, let's see, I think that's about it, but the one last thing that I want to show you is these port keys. I don't know why it's a boot, I think that's a really strange thing, because, they start off looking like this, this really cool looking pyramid kind of box, and then they turn into a boot. So let me show you what one of these is like. All right. Okay. It's going to show you my view. All right. Oh, you can't toy the quasi. Okay, so I have to find five of these rack spurts. So like. There's one, I get that item. Um, there's one up there, I get some experience. There's, oh, 2,000, that's a lot. That one's pretty, I get 150. I usually just uh, go with the first five that I see. And I get a dragon egg. And I don't have room for that thing. Let's see, so we'll hop in the registry just to see what happens when you rank up. You get, I also like the, I forget what they're called, but the, I forget, the, just the deer running down. So I get two of these um, scrolls, can use them to upgrade my abilities for battle, and one of these runes, which let me answer into challenges. Oh, and I leveled up. So I'm not surprised because it gave me 2,000 experience, which is crazy. All right. Let's see. So then, this page, you can you can show off your wizardy achievements. I don't like it. Doesn't tell you what they're for. 
just that you got them. Uh, it also shows you I found 300 foundables, walked 7 kilometers, visited 172 inns and greenhouses, and I've done 2 wizarding challenges. Um, also gives you some wand details and shows what house you're in. As you complete the game, you'll unlock titles. I think I'm just going to keep piling titles on just to see how ridiculous I can make it. Uh, that's about it in there. Let's see if you want to be my friend. There's my friend code. So you can just go right to where I am now and enter that code in. And you can be my friend. Right now I don't think there's any benefits to having... Like Pokemon Go, you send gifts between your friends, you get bonuses for battling with your friends. I don't think there's any of those in the game right now. Um, what was the other thing I wanted to mention? There's something else that's in the game. Or that's not in the game, but that's in Pokemon Go, and I find it weird. No, it's not that. I can't think what it was. It might have just been that you can't send... There's not really a point yet to having friends. Yeah, I don't know what's with this music box, because that um giant ogre looks very realistic to me. Being in... In Harry Potter, it probably is a real giant. In a giant music box. You just get a goblin and put him in a normal size music box. But. Okay. Also, you'll see your person, they'll start off purple, but then they'll change to match whatever color house you choose. You can click on them, they'll wave. I think that's about it from them. Uh, overall, I think it's a better game. Oh, I know the other thing. It doesn't have them from Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go can track your walking when you're not in the app. This can only track your activity while you're in the app. Because I know I've walked more than 7 kilometers. Pokemon Go will tell you I walked more than 7 kilometers in the past week. Um, but it's probably... I think Pokemon Go started out the same way with a lot of these things. So maybe as time goes on, they'll be fixed, and then they'll be in this game. Not necessarily fixed, but, you know, made available. just want to see, because... So the one time I clicked on the store and it gave me like 40, 50 free energy. Anymore, it's just selling. It has things for sale. It's what I expected it to be, but... Man. Yeah. So overall, I think it's a better game design and everything compared to Pokemon Go. I'm a bigger Pokemon fan, so... It's gonna it's gonna be better to me, but overall the different tracing to cast, there's an actual story, there's daily assignments to get coins and scrolls. Um, there's an actual I guess Pokemon Go had kind of had the badge achievement system. So that's not very that's pretty similar. There's an actual story. And I think there's a lot more things to collect right off the bat. Looks like there's five. Yeah, so it looks like there's five in each of these. Three, six, nine, ten things. If they each have three, what's that? Thirty, one, oh, 150. Alright, so it's exactly as many as Pokemon Go. First launched, apparently. 
It's shocking. Let's see, I just want to use one of these potions just to grab that other one. Um, it's one of these tremendously. So we'll just get rid of this regular Estimulo. Probably could have used it, probably need to use it. Just so I can grab one of these potions and get those two scrolls. Because, I, oh, I have, I have three too many. I need to get rid of four potions. Great. Just because those, I think, are really valuable. How, how much is it to upgrade you? This is the potion I was getting. Grant one focus for casting strategic spells. Eh, sounds boring. Is there double experience for from everything? It looks like thirty minutes. But can I can I stack these? No, I can't stack them. So we'll just pitch them, just so I can literally grab this. People who've played the game enough probably are, know that's probably a bad thing to do. But I really want the scrolls. Can I? Nope. Normally I'd have a notification if I could afford another upgrade. But I must need another two scrolls. Because this one... Oh, that one's four. So what I find weird, it'll tell you if you can afford the first upgrade, but not any of the other ones. That one only is two. That one requires green books. That's another reason I went up the right side. How much are you? Yeah, that one's eight. That one's eight and two red. So, um, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. I'll try to put a link to the game in the description below. It's a little harder for iOS games to find the right link on a computer. Actually, for, oh, probably shouldn't unlock that. Oh well. It's a lot harder to find a link to put into the game or to put it in the description on a computer to put for a mobile device. But thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, there's a video on the right side of your screen. It's the last video I upload. There's a video on the left side of your screen. It's a video that YouTube thinks you'll like. Click my icon in the middle if you want to subscribe for more videos. Um, again, if you like this game, add me as a friend. If, there, if gifting eventually does come, I usually try to send all my friends gifts pretty much every day. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.